Imagine this. You die in Salah. Imagine this. You die in Salah. Imagine this, that you live on forever. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith, when a person comes to pray his Salah, and he's waiting for the Salah to begin, like all of you are waiting for the Salah to begin, the Messenger of Allah said, that person is in his Salah. So all those who were waiting for the Salah, they were martyred, they were shot, they get their reward as though they were shot whilst praying in Salah. Not only that, then Allah gives them glad tidings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا تحتمن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الأموات بل أحياء said, those who are martyred in my path, what place could be better than the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What place, could, what day could be better than the day of Jummah? The Messenger of Allah said, the sun has not risen over a day better than the day of Jummah. What salah could be better than the salah of Jummah? Allah says, do not regard those who have been martyred in my path on Jummah, in salah, dead. But by Allah, they are alive. So subhanAllah, they are alive by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sustains them. So alhamdulillah, everybody goes on to their Lord. You know, it's a mindless shooting. It's a loss of life, condolences to the family. But for the martyrs, for the shuhada, inshallah, jannatul firdaus. Inshallah, jannatul firdaus. Secondly, I also want to mention, you know, really, we need to think before we do things. People have been circulating this video of the shooting. Why have you been circulating it? Exactly what the murderer wanted you to do, you did it. Why do you think he live streamed it? So people would circulate it, others would see it, and maybe it would encourage others to do exactly the same. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, لَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ Do not assist each other on sins and transgressions. We need to think before we do these kind of things. One, but I've seen it even on ulama forums, people have been circulating. Let me ask you one question. If it was your own family who were gunned down, would you like other people to circulate it? Then the Messenger of Allah said, none of you can be a true believer until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. And finally, I think this is a lesson for all of us, that as believers, you leave the dunya sooner or later, but the greatest thing that you can do is leave a legacy. We have stories of individuals, one brother who attacked the gunman barehanded and he was martyred. In the second shooting, one person chased him away. Look at, look at the bravery. And look at the Muslims today. Generally, your state and my state. We're not even ready to speak out. So when you get gunned down, you get tributes for a day or two and then everybody forgets you. You know why? Because you're Muslims. And why should anybody back you up when you're not ready to back yourself up? It's been 19 years. You've been apologizing for everybody else's sin. Let me ask you, has it done you any good? No. Politicians don't give a damn about you. You look at the conservative party. You look at what Boris Johnson can say and others can say about the Muslims. You look at Saudi Jawid, he strips you of your citizenship. Vast majority have been stripped are Muslim. Nobody gives a damn. You know why nobody gives a damn? Because you haven't got the bottle to stand up. You're weak, need, lily livered, and this is why nobody gives a jack about you. And this is why brothers, sisters, you know, at least stand up for your rights. You know why? Because when you're standing up for your right, you're standing up for the, your children to come. Your children to come. Many people think that you actually deserve it. So brothers and sisters, be those individuals who stand for the truth. 
maybe for yourself or the protection of yourself or maybe for the protection of others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate the status of our brothers and sisters in New Zealand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them Jannah of those. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make their graves a garden from the gardens of Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us, wallahi, people who speak the truth. You know, who are not cowards. If people can get shot for their religion, for what they believe in, then can't we say a few words of haq? And then what are you creating in your children? Your second class citizen, when they can strip you of your nationality because your parents were migrants. Ah, oh no! Yar, it's better than Dadial, isn't it? It's better than Silet. Birmingham is better than Silet and Dadial. It could be worse. What, what kind of, what kind of you know, second class citizen are you ready to live first? So brothers and sisters, listen. I've said this a hundred times here. Yeah, create a bit of backbone. I'm not telling you become mavericks, but if you don't do it, then somebody will do it, like those people who we don't want them to do it, and then you'll complain they don't represent us. Well, they don't represent you because you were never ready to do it.